Hello everybody, Quarter Jet Power here. Uh, gonna show you our electric choke conversion kit. Uh, and then we also have the electric choke element here for um, for use on Quarter Jets that originally had an electric choke. So I'm gonna show you the electric choke conversion. Um, so this is a 79 Chevrolet Quarter Jet, just for an example, uh, nice and dirty like like most are, right? So, um, this was originally a hot air choke. Hot air being <clears throat> the choke element is heated from exhaust from the engine <clears throat> pulled by vacuum into the vacuum port to heat the element to, to make it work. <clears throat> most of these hot air choke systems these days, uh, a lot of the components that go into the engine are rotted out. Uh, most of them aren't reproduced, uh, but these are real easy to convert to electric choke if you're if you're wanting to to convert this system. So <clears throat> we have our it's called it's our ECC electric choke conversion kit. I'm going to open this up, show you all the parts. The element in these are the same as our EC1. If you have an electric choke and just needing to replace the element, our EC1 uh, is the part for that. Um, but we're doing a conversion today, so I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna show you how to do the conversion. There are three screws that hold on the original hot air choke element. So I'm gonna, gonna pull these screws and the retainers off, set them over here. I think I'm going to use a power assisted here, so be a little quicker. Some of these screws are get stuck through the years. You may have to use some heat to get them off. Once you get those three screws and retainers off, the hot air choke element should come right off. So we're going to set that aside because we're going to discard that. You want to make sure... A hot air choke element has a gasket that seals it to the housing. We're not going to need that. <clears throat> the electric choke element is going to ground to the housing itself. So, <clears throat> so we don't need that, that gasket on there. So, so here's the choke components all in place here. So we're going to leave everything there as it is. I'm going to open up the ECC kit <clears throat> as electric choke element with the piece. Now, this, um, our ECC, there are two different types of uh, hot air choke housings. <clears throat> the Chevrolet has this small vacuum nipple on the front. Uh, many of them have a screw-on component that's larger than this. So we have two different vacuum caps for the two different types of hot air choke elements because we want to block off the vacuum port um, so we don't have a vacuum leak. So I'll just go ahead and put this vacuum cap on there. Um, so now, now what we have left we have the, <clears throat> the element, we have the screws and the, and the retainers, and then we have the electric choke the, for wiring, which you'll need to wire a 12 volt key on power source to heat this element uh, like the factory would originally. So I say key on because what you want, you only want power to this when your key is in the on position. Um, that'll heat the element when the key is on and then it'll stay heated and operate completely as you're driving. Technically, uh, a lot of these originally were were wired through um, a, a source that would indicate you had oil pressure, could be an oil pressure switch or uh, whatever else. You can go to your, um, well, the wiper motor has a key on power source. You also have, um, can go to your fuse block and choose a key on power source there. 
So the element has, has the ring here, and this will go onto the choke actuator here inside the choke housing. So we're gonna slide that over that piece and then we're going to turn the choke. We want to make sure when adjusting this choke we turning it clockwise to the right, it's going to open up the choke flap. On a, on a cold choke adjustment, we want to turn this element so that when the throttle shaft is open slightly we have some tension and it's closing the primary choke flap. That's that's where we want this element. You can see there it's a little bit loose. I'm gonna turn it just a little bit more so that the choke element will close all the way when uh, it's cold. And then we just put the screws and the retainers in just like when we took it off. You can use the old ones, but we supplied new ones with it too. So we're gonna put these on. This part may be kind of boring. Don't tighten them up until I get all three of them in place. Make sure that it's squared. So that's all there is to doing a choke conversion on a hot air choke <clears throat> to electric. Uh, now we're just going to verify that it's all tight on here. So this element's tight. Choke is still tight. This is the fast idle cam here. It's, it's going to be in the up position when the fast idle is in place. Now we would run the wire to this to the, to the power source and just put the put the plug in place on there so that, so that you've got power to it when you've got the key on now a uh, couple of things real quick the screw down here below the choke housing this is the fast idle speed adjustment so you want to make sure that your throttle blades are open slightly when you've got the fast idle cam in the up position and you would turn this screw clockwise to increase your fast idle speed. Fast idle is only affected when the choke is in operation. Now, to make sure you've got everything set correctly after the, after the choke is warm, the choke flap should be fully open. You want to make sure when the element is warmed up, your choke flap is completely straight up and down and is and completely open and stays completely open after the choke is warm, after the engine's warm. Then your idle speed, curve idle speed is adjusted over here with this screw to make sure you've got your regular idle speed correct when the choke is fully warmed and the engine is warm. So, and to, to adjust this, you, you may need to move the choke element slightly, make sure that, that it is fully open when warm. <clears throat> you can also, if necessary, the choke rod that goes from the actuator inside the carburetor to the choke flap may need to be bent slightly you can see this one is bent slightly to make sure that you do get a full open uh, when the when the engine is warm and a full close when when the element is cold. Um, thanks for watching the video. Make if you like, make sure you you check that you like the video. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the new videos that come out. Uh, we're going to be adding more and more 
uh, as time goes. So again, quadrajetpower.com. I'm going to put links to these items uh, that we use today in the description. So you can click on those links and go to our website, quadrajetpower.com. Uh, you can find everything that you need there for your quadrajet, new and used parts, uh, services, everything that you need. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Thank you.